you're thinking about getting chickens, well, let's talk about it. Hey guys, if you're not sure what you need, but you've been thinking about getting hens, I got you covered. Come along. So chickens are not overly expensive animals to have, but there's things you're gonna need. You need to feed them, they need supplements to their diet, they need water, it can't be frozen, they need food, they need things that occupy by their time. They're gonna need this run that I'm in. They're gonna need a coop. They're gonna need fencing around that coop to protect them. There's a lot of things you're gonna need. Ouch! <laughs> what are you maniacs doing? What are you biting me for? <laughs> oh heavens. Hey, can I get it into the pan, please? I'm trying to tell everybody why they want to get chickens. Because they're great. <laughs> Here, let me get... Hey, enough. Back up there, girl. Back the feathers up. Back the feathers up. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, guys, ladies. Here, take that. Thank you. Again, heads are great. You're gonna need to supplement their food with some grains, some mealworms, with some fruit. I recommend minimum getting minimum three hens at first. I wouldn't go less than three. And most places won't sell you less than three, like Tractor Supply and places like that, which is good. You can't. You can't just buy one hen. It's just not enough. You have to have a minimum of three. I recommend starting with five, but if you can do seven or nine, that would be great. I built this little vegetable hanger. I put cabbage on that. A lot of the stuff you can build, it's not that expensive. I give them watermelon. Keep needing to get that out of here, but I do recommend getting them early as spring as you can. I think within the next two weeks. I know Tractor Supply starts having their chicks again in two weeks. I would get them in March early because it's going to take you 20 to 22, maybe 24 weeks before you might see some eggs. These ISA Browns lay. Like Whitney girl here, she laid at 22 weeks, but then her and her laid at 24. And then you have other hens that laid at, like, she, these were over 28 to 30 weeks. These Easter eggers. Same with my Leghorn. I think she was about 26. My olive eggger, she took a quite a long time. These girls were over 30 weeks. My prairie bluebells. So it's going to take time before you get any eggs. The other thing is, like, sometimes I come out and I'm running late for work and their water is frozen. You can't. You got to fix it. Or they've run out of water and you forgot. You got to fix it before you go to work. You got to get out early. Spend time with them. Make sure they see you. Make sure they bond with you. My practice has always been to not try to pet them so much. In time, they come up to me. And they'll actually almost sit right in my lap. So give them space and you'll be good. And then you can get all the fluffy butts that you want. You get a lot of fluffy butts. But there's a lot that goes in to thinking about getting hens. Start doing your research. They're going to be in your house or some area that's warmer than 65 degrees at a minimum when they're real young chicks they gotta, you got to have a heat lamp. Those are 700 watts to 900 watts. They run 24 hours a day. Um, 
you can't put them outside until they're fully feathered and then you got to make sure it doesn't get under 65 degrees because they can't handle it when they're still young the more you have the uh, more they can huddle together and that's a good thing but it's going to take time again they're going to be in your house at minimum eight weeks minimum sometimes ten depending upon the breed you get you're gonna to have to get a place for them to stay you're gonna to have to get their food it's just a um, different kind of food for the chicks than it is for the, the what we call layers when they start laying they eat a different kind of food with more calcium and things like that that older hens need you're probably going to run a medicated feed through your chicks at least one bag full which is good for them and I always do that um, you need to have um, their bedding cleaned out chicks bedding takes a lot of cleaning your kids are going to want to handle them a lot I I know I'm going to get flack for this, don't recommend that too much, but um, chickens aren't always like lap animals, they're not, you don't just pet them all the time, they do come up, they do come up, they let you pet them some, this is more of a submissive position she's in, I don't have a rooster, I guess I'm kind of the rooster. But they're great to have. I love my hens so much. I enjoy them. I literally come home from work and just spend some time out here with them and relax. They talk to you. You get to know what they're saying. You get to know the way they sound when they're afraid or when they're happy or when they want food or they want you to leave them alone but there's a lot of things you're gonna have to get a coop my coop can easily hold it's four by eight and then another foot and a half on the end for the um where they lay their eggs you're gonna need this built or you're gonna have to buy one i built mine you're gonna need what I call a run. This run is adds protection to them. What, sweetie? What? 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 They need a place that they can run into if there's an animal. Most predator birds won't fly in here. Some will, but most won't. Fox can get in there. But I keep the door open so they can get out. I got a four foot fence around my extended run on the outside here I made this box so they can scratch in I got a clean out door on my coop so I'm still working on my coop it's not fully done but I'm getting there what what your hands will talk to you <laughs> but yeah there's a lot of things you're gonna need Start doing your research. They're not overly needy as long as they have food and water and a safe place to be, which is awesome. You can fill up larger containers. What, sweetie, what? You can fill up larger containers. Some hold five gallons and a lot of water, and you could you can go away for three or three or four days if there's enough uh, maybe your neighbor can just check in on them uh, one of the things that I really liked was this automatic door I still check it each night but it opens and closes when the Sun comes up it opens the Sun goes down it closes and it's great <laughs> what Whitney girl what this is Whitney girl. She is my first hen that laid an egg for me. 
nice brown egg. Yeah, a nice brown egg, thank you. I collect the eggs every day. I got a, I can't count, so somebody reminded me of that today. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. If you were like, wait a minute, there's five there and six there, yeah. These are wooden eggs. These are eggs, starter eggs to help them see an egg here and then they start knowing where they're supposed to lay. So, but my girls have been laying throughout the winter, which is definitely a blessing, but that's not always the case. Depending upon how cold it is and how much light you get, you may not get any eggs. I've had hens in the past that have shut down for months, wouldn't lay. A lot of times it was my Easter eggers. These kind of hens, the kind of the gold, the black sex links, the, the ISA browns, the Rhode Islands, a lot of times they'll still lay. Uh, leghorns, a lot of times will still lay. So research the hen, and that's the other thing is, if egg production is your thing, that's what you're really, that to you that means it's a good hen, then you know, you're gonna, some of these hens are gonna lay 250 plus eggs a year, easy. Others will not. Some will lay a lot less than that. But if egg production is one of your things, then these ISA Browns are definitely gonna give you an egg every day. In the beginning, my girl here, Whitney, she was like a double yolk queen. It was like every day, every other day. And that's not normal, but it happens. A lot of times when they're first starting to lay. I built this little jungle gym for them and they use it all the time. Barely cost me any money. A lot of this stuff was very cheap to build, but they use it every day. Yep, every day. But that's some of the things you need to think about. You're going to need a run. You're going to need a fenced in area. You're going to need a coop. You're going to need places to put feed, different types of containers. You're going to need things, toys, or things to occupy their time. These vegetable hangers, these jungle gyms different types of perches at different levels you're gonna need that this used to be a dust bath but they don't use it very much they use underneath the uh, coop and they got they're like digging a hole down I don't know where they're trying to go with that but it's getting deeper and deeper but that is some of the things you're gonna need to think about I'd be happy to answer any questions um, you definitely learn. You just learn as you do it. But hens are really great animals. Definitely a blessing from God. Guys, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully I've answered some of your questions about what you're going to need. Starting out getting some hens. Don't be afraid of it. Just go and get it done. It'll be a blessing, and you'll have a really great time with your hens. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. God bless you.